Sold out show tonight at the Truman. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, you guys have really had a really good run here. Uh, the new album is called Bambi, uh, and I'm sure that it'll be available at the merch table tonight. At the Stop show. by, swing by, say yeah. hello. <laughs> you actually came from a musical family. Your your mom and and your grandfather. What what were what were they all about? Yeah, my mom was a professional singer for ten years, um, and my grandpa uh, taught music for his whole entire life and um, played piano at Scotts Air Force Base in um, Illinois up until uh, he passed. So, yeah. So, did they uh, start you on lessons early on? Not really. My mom tried to actively kind of keep me out of the industry, having done it for <laughs> ten years and seen. Uh, you know, the ups and downs of, of touring, uh, but it was kind of inevitable at some point that I would find it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, ultimately, uh, you know, the story that gets talked about a lot is that this band formed in high school. But really, you know, there were multiple bands in high school, and you, you all kind of came together towards the end of high school, maybe even afterwards. Yeah, yeah, very true. We played in two bands. Um, Zach and I played in a band called Whistle Kid, and um, Nathan and Whistler and DiCarlo uh, played in a band called Northern. Um, and we used to compete with each other in the local <laughs> Battle of the Bands competition. Is it is it un, <laughs> is it uncool for me to ask who won? It was uh, Zach and I. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool to ask me about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, and Whistle yeah. Kid was like really nothing like Hippocampus. Um, I mean, there's uh, you, you could point to elements of it, but it was it was more like blues rock based. It was more like Jack White than like I don't know anything Hippocampus would do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and my my sense of this is that when high school ended and people started scattering to the winds. That that's when you all sort of came together and combined. Yeah, forces. our uh, basically the other members of our bands just all left and went to different colleges, and we were kind of the people that were left um, in Minnesota. So that's one way to pick your lineup. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> guess I have to make music with these people now. But no, it's great. Yeah, and the Hippocampus is a really good band name, but I was it's also not really. really fond. <laughs> of, I'm sorry, what? I just said it's not really. But I'm, <laughs> I'm happy you like it. <laughs> well, I, I will say that I do favor the the title that almost made it, Tarzan Reject. Yeah, I feel like we probably should have gone with Tarzan Reject for sure. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Would you have had like the the Burroughs Estate come after you for that one? maybe yeah, i don't know who knows yeah maybe it's trademarked yeah. nathan was in a um a furniture store and he had on these like cheetah print shorts that were very short and this older gentleman just started yelling at him because he didn't like the way he was dressed and started calling him a hippie and a tarzan reject <laughs> 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 <It's pretty funny. laughs> yeah it can come from me well you actually did do an early ep called tarzan reject so at least you put it to good use yeah yeah our early bedroom recordings were tarzan reject ep so when you all came together um you know, the the rise of Hippocampus has been really quite rapid, but your goals were were pretty simple. Make your friends dance. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely what we started off um started off doing for sure. And then it evolved from there. For sure. I guess that, you know, maybe you're you're start looking for success when your day job is like in the sandwich shop. Yes, I delivered sandwiches for a year. It's great. It was really fun. I actually didn't mind that gig. That wasn't bad. Yeah. For pot belly sandwiches, do you guys have that here? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we sure do. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning endorsement. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to send them a bill. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Please do, yeah. Yeah, so um, <laughs> the, actually the school that you all went to was like a, a, the St. Paul Conservatory for Performing Artists, and it's it's one of those, you know, for lack of a better way of framing, it's sort of like fame kind of school. Yeah, yeah, there's like multiple uh disciplines. There's dance, uh theater, musical theater, music and then vocal performance. So it's more similar to a college where you have your major and then you also have to take, you know, math and science and other things that I'm bad at. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Lupin is our guest. He is from Hippocampus playing the Truman tonight. The new album is Bambi. We'd love to hear a song if we could. Sure, cool. Yeah, song's called Honestly. Tomorrow 
seems to seep into the air Just nothing Aimless eyes are searching for a better something It's okay, it's indecision It's full of lilacs that I picked So pointless A bluish tint and faded vision Aimless eyes are searching for a bed To something It's okay, it's indecision Always leads Hard to know what you're thinking It's no fun when you're leaving And it's okay, it's okay, it's okay But it's repetitive Uncertainty you chase goes And if I Hippocampus, our guest. That was lovely. Thanks. You know, so there's been a lot uh, made of your falsetto. I'm assuming that that's not the easiest thing to do first thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It definitely <laughs> takes a minute to warm up. And I was just asleep for the record, hour, yeah. like this is <laughs> happening in the one o'clock in the afternoon hour, which is morning if you're on the road. <laughs> yeah, it is musician morning time for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you pulled it off beautifully. Thank you. Uh, Bambi, the new one, is actually your second album, and you've had the the... Uh, I think great fortune, or I'm sure it was planning, uh, wasn't luck, but to be in a couple of really great studios already. Landmark uh, was recorded at the Pachyderm Studio. It's a little south of the Twin Cities, uh, and bands like Nirvana, Sunvolt, Jayhawks have been in that, so it's kind of a storied space. And then uh, Bambi was at least partly recorded at Steve Albini's Electrical Audio in Chicago. Must be... uh, you know, like, if nothing else, educational to sort of step into those legendary spaces. Yeah, yeah. Each studio has, like, a different uh, different vibe it brings. Like, Albini's spot is very uh, utilitarian. I mean, if you look at Steve Albini, he's made, like, you know, f- like, 2,000 records or something like that. So it's uh, it's very, like, industrial feeling. Um, whereas if you go to Pachyderm, it's a bit more, uh, like, kind of bougie, old-timey feeling. And then we did some things at um, April Base, which is Justin Vernon's studio, in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and um, that's more of like a home studio vibe, you know, and it's cool, yeah. Each studio brings a different energy for sure. Yeah, so Landmark, you spent about a year and a half making that one, and this one was like four and a half months, so is that uh, just experience or just the desire to get on with life? Uh, definitely, yeah, desire to get on with life is a, is a big aspect of that. Um, we wanted to give ourselves less time. Uh, we wanted to focus less on perfection and more on, um, emotion with this record. So I think for Landmark, we just spent so much time getting the perfect takes and all this stuff. Uh, and with Bambi, we were just like, you know, the songs are fine, the performances are fine. Let's just capture the vibe, you know. They sound a lot different. Mm -hmm. Uh, more guitars and... Uh, landmark and more synths and and things in in the new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we consciously. Um, well, for Bambi, we built everything um, 
around a vocal. So we'd we'd strip, we'd write the songs, kind of produce them out fully, like as a band or however however we did it. And then we would, um, when we went to record them with BJ, we'd strip them back to whatever the most critical element was, whether that's a guitar or a piano or a synth and the vocal. And we'd then stack everything on top of that. So it was just whatever's in there was kind of necessary as opposed to just every song has to have two guitars and a bass and drums, you know, we'd, we stripped it further back. Like, this only needs a, a synth and a vocal, or this only needs one guitar, you know? So B.J. Burton, the producer, has worked with Lowe and Bonnie Vare. Yes. And he's done both of your full lengths. Um, yes. And my understanding is he kind of challenged you all at the beginning of this. Yeah, no, he's, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, brutal. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a good way, but yeah. He's, well, I think that the, the quote that I heard was, do you want to make another Hippocampus record, or do you want to make a record under the name Hippocampus? Yeah, it was basically like, do you want to make a record that people would expect you to put out, or do you want to make a record that um, challenges people? And we wanted to make a record that hopefully would challenge our fan base a bit. So did he? Did did, did the way he treat you all as a band change the way you interacted with each other? Oh yeah, definitely, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was very interesting, very interesting in, uh, dynamic, for sure. I get the sense that this was a late night record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Landmark was definitely more of like kind of a sunrise on the on the beach, and this is definitely more of driving home from your significant other's house late at night, listening to music, kind of vibe. All right. Uh, Jake Looper is, Lupin is our <laughs> the guest. Looper. From, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, you just went off there, went off the deep <laughs> end. Uh, Jake Lupin, our guest, Hippocampus, sold out show tonight at the Truman new album, Bambi, and we'd love to hear another song. Cool. Swear to God. I wasn't born to fight Maybe just a little bit Enough to make me sick of it But I hide I can read between the lines I want to run from everything But my legs don't work It's clear to me I haven't been much myself And I feel like my friends Are being put through this hell I think that I'm living If you could call it living So brash and unforgiving Ruined by the vibe I'm living Serving by yourself Serving by yourself The timing's poor I know it's never right Hard to see this time of night Hard to know the reasons why I messed it up again Still I read the sign It doesn't seem so lucky now Maybe I can figure out Why I haven't been much myself And I feel like my friends being put This hell feeling I think that I if you could call it living so brash and unforgiving Ruined by the vibe I bring in, serving myself Serving myself I've been making my own way now I've been making my own way now To where I got to be Wait and see I've been making my own way now I've been making my own way now To where I got to be Wait and see
Jay Klupin, our guest today on The Bridge. And, of course, Hippocampus playing tonight at the Truman new album, Bambi. I was actually really, like, maybe, I don't know why, but it just made me happy to know that there really is a Bambi out there. Yes, my aunt's name is Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> and she would let us come up to her lake house and make music. So thanks, Aunt Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> Was she uh, she excited to know what the name of the song and the album is? Oh, yeah, yeah. She was thrilled. Yeah, I, I texted her. I was like, is it okay if we do this? And she's like, I would be honored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, there is an act of faith to give four young guys run of your place. Yeah, right? run of your lake house for sure, yeah. <laughs> 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 Very trusting. Yeah. Very trusting. You know, it's so funny. It's like the, the album has got such a, a well-produced sound and... You know, I wondered what it was going to be like for you to come in and play these songs for us in what's clearly a completely different interpretation. Totally. But uh, the songwriting was approached differently this time around with each of you. And instead of writing together as a foursome, you each went off and wrote on your own and, in fact, even created demos on your own. So, in a sense, this is where that song started. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Bambi was, like, written more... Um, and honestly, actually, both of the ones I played were written more full bandy. Honestly, was written directly in um, electrical audio. Um, and why even try it? We just showed up and set up, and we were like, let's just jam and see if we could write songs. And we wrote two songs kind of on the spot. And Bambi was more of a full band effort, but it was done like in the studio where we had, you know, we were working directly in Pro Tools, kind of like chopping stuff and arranging it that way. But there are a number of songs where people just like brought it in, you know reasonably hashed out <laughs> and then the band has their way yeah and then the band will take it and mess with it and then bj will strip it back and destroy it and like, <laughs> which is cool. i'm feeling yeah, yeah. the love just destroy it in a beautiful <laughs> and amazing way yeah. <laughs> so writing alone as opposed to writing as a band you know the the, the sense that i got is you know, it's like groupthink. When you get so many people sort of massaging an idea, it can kind of over-polish an idea or take some of the edge off. And, and then maybe the idea behind writing alone was to make sure that that individual vision actually had a chance to surface. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think if you, you know, get a group of people together um, that have been coming together for a long time, you know, there's certain tendencies or habits that you could get into where it's where it's easy, you know, like for arrangements with us, it'd just be like, we have so many songs that are just one to fours, which is like this chord and this chord, just cause it's easy, you know, you don't have to explain like it goes here, it goes here, it goes here, and then there's hits here, you know, you could just be like, it's just this to this man, you know, and then you could kind of jam it out, which worked for us for a long time. Uh, but for this record, we wanted to incorporate more advanced uh, chord progressions and melodies that um, would be, you know, more difficult to communicate in the room from, like, a jamming perspective, I guess. You know, I read a couple of quotes that made me feel like, lyrically, band members were sort of like, you really feel like that? You know, like, you got to know each other a little yeah, bit better yeah. by Definitely. having Yeah, that. you hear people's songs, and you're like, wow, do you still like me? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's great. That's funny. So... You know, this band, we alluded to it at the beginning of the interview, started off as a band that, uh, you know, just was there to make your friends dance. And uh, I get the sense that the band sort of reached a point where, uh, you know, keeping the world at bay wasn't really possible for you guys anymore. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I would say like right before Landmark, um, we started realizing the platform that we had um, and the effect we could have on our audience. So we wanted to, um, you know, push what we could do further than just making people dance, you know, like touching people or like, you know, working with um, organizations to, you know, make the world a better place and just trying to use our platform to, you know, help the world in some way, in any way we can, I guess. Among others, you've worked with Planned Parenthood and then following the Parkland, Florida shootings, every town for gun safety. Yeah, correct. So Fantastic organizations. Donate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, I have to say, the album is great. It's called Bambi. It's Hippocampus. They're playing a sold-out show tonight at the Truman. Jake Lupin has been kind enough to join us, and we'd love one more song if we could. Sure. Good. 
guide is possum so sweet But she's a little bit tough I stop to think about the future Seems so clear, never want to lose it I know I, I know dear I think that it's cool to set it to me there I look at that it drinks it up Like a kind of fetish now Hippocampus, the new album is Bambi. Thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate it so much. I know that it's so busy on the road and to take the time. Uh, we're gratified by you coming in today. Pleasure, man. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. All right, Hippocampus today on the bridge. <laughs> 